this video we're going to look at connected particles. Uh, we're going to go straight to our examples and see how we use our force equals mass times acceleration and our SUVAT equations uh, to answer these questions. Now the first example says a car of mass 980 kilograms tows a trailer of mass 490 kilograms along a road. The car produces a tractive force, so that's your driving force, so the car produces a tractive force of 3,500 newtons. The car and the trailer experiences experience resistances of 500 newtons and 200 newton, 250 newtons respectively. Find acceleration and the tension in the tow bar. Okay, very simple diagram for this one. Just a horizontal line for your road. And I always like to have the thing moving to from the left to the right. So I'm going to have it the car out in front. The mass of the car was 980 kilograms. You could mark on your uh, weight of your car, but there's absolutely no need. It's only horizontal motion we're looking for. We also have got our mass of our trailer is 490 kilograms. And between your car and your trailer, you've got a tow bar. You've also got a resistance from the car, and the resistance from the car is 500 newtons. The resistance from the trailer is 250 newtons. Okay, we have another or two other very important forces to act on, which are the, tra uh, the tension in the tow bar. Now let's just think about the trailer. So this thing over here, the trailer. For the trailer to move forward, something has to be pulling it. So it has no engine of itself, of its own. So we also have our, our there's a tension uh, in the in the tow bar which is pulling this thing. Uh, one of Newton's uh, laws says that there is an equal and opposite reaction. So if there's tension going that way, there has to be an equal and opposite tension going the other way. And one other thing which I forgot to put on my diagram was the forward tractive force, which was 3,500 newtons. And we are now ready uh, to get going on this question. It says, find the acceleration and the tension in the tow bar. So I'm going to say, uh, first of all, I'm going to say, consider the whole system. So that means absolutely everything that's involved, so the car, and the trailer. And I'm going to use force equals mass times acceleration or F equals MA. Now the forward force uh, is this uh, 3,500. So 3,500 is going forward. There's a tension here which is also going forward. And then going back we've got 500 so minus 500. We've also got another tension and we've also got this 250 and that is equal to the total mass so the total mass will be 490 plus 980 so it is going to be uh, it is going to be 1470 so that's your total mass and your acceleration is a okay now I'll get rid of all this stuff tidy up a wee bit so we can see what's going on and so my friction from my Car, well, our resistance in the car was 500. So okay, so that's what we're going back to. Now, if you look at this equation I've just put on the on the screen, uh, you will see that the tension here and this positive this positive t and this negative t they just cancel each other out. So they just disappear. You're left with 3,000 minus uh, 500 minus another 250, which is going to give you 2,750 is equal to 1,470 times your acceleration. Now your acceleration then is just going to be equal to 2,750 divided by 1,470. So when you work that out, I have got 1.87 meters per second squared, and that is the two decimal places. Okay, so we find our acceleration. Uh, to find your tension then, to find your tension, I'm going to just say consider the trailer. Now, I could have considered the trailer or considered the car, but I'm going to say consider the trailer. And I'm going to use F equals MA. Now, when I say consider the trailer, I'm saying considering the, the forces which are acting just on the trailer. So I'm zooming in on this circle here. Now, the forward force for the trailer is T going backwards is 250. That equals my mass, just the mass of the trailer which is 490 times acceleration. And I'm going to write my acceleration 
as an exact value 250 over 147. Uh, so if I'm not rounding using my rounded version of it. Uh, and then we can work on from there. So t is equal to 490 times 275 over 147. And that is then plus the 250. So when you work out your tension, your tension works out to be um, 1166 and 2 thirds uh, newtons. And if they quite often these questions, they wanted the three sig figs. So the three sig figs, that's going to be 1170 newtons to three sig figs. And I will change this one over here to three sig figs. So they're both consistent. So instead of two decimal places, three sig figs, which was the same thing. So there we have it. Just to show you how we could have done that in a slightly different way, you don't have to do this, uh, but just to show you what you could have done, uh, we could have looked at the, just said consider the car, I'll work across the page here, just to show us here, get this squeezed in, consider the car. So once you find the, accelerate, uh, find the acceleration, consider the car, and on the car, you're talking about these are your forces acting on the car. And again, we're going to use F equals MA. So going forward is 3,500. Going back is T. And also, you nearly know, forgot about the 500. And that's the mass of the car times acceleration, which again is 275 over 147. Again, you could work that out, uh, solve that. And again, you'd find your same thing. Your T is 1170 to 3 sig figs. Okay. So just to show you that was just another way of doing that particular example. Okay, next example says, next example we have got um, a car of mass 900 kilograms is connected to a small trailer of mass 150 kilograms by a light tow bar. The car experiences, experiences a resistance of 300 newtons and is able to produce a tractive force of 3,330 if they accelerate from rest at a rate of 2 meters per second squared, find the magnitude of the resistances experienced by the trailer. Okay, uh, again, a little diagram needed for this question. So you've got your trailer in behind. It was 150 kilograms. You've got your car, and the car was 900 kilograms. To get the trailer moving, remember, you need to have a tension, and then an opposite tension. And then you've got, you've got your 300 newtons, which was a resistance from the car, and it accelerates at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. And we have a tractive force as well of 3,330 newtons, and we want to find the resistance uh, on the trailer. So that's what we have got as our diagram. Okay, I'm going to zoom down just so I can squeeze this in. So what we've got, we're going to just consider again the whole system and we're going to use F is equal to MA. So going forward you've got 3330. Going against that you've got 300. You've also got T going against that but you've got T going for it. And then you've got your R going against it, and that's equal to your total mass, which is 1,050 times your acceleration, which is 2. So that's going to be 3,030 minus R is equal to 2 times uh, 1,050, which is 2,100. And then we will just swap those around, and we'll say our 3,030 minus 2,100 is equal to R. So we better work it out. Your R works out to be 930 newtons. Okay, for part two, for part two of this question, it says that we are to find the time taken for the system to reach a speed of 30 um, meters. So no, it does not say that at all. It says find the tension in the tow bar. So the tension tow bar, first of all, part two is the tension in tow bar. So we're just going to consider the trailer. And if you look just at the trailer, so just looking at the trailer, that's what you've got. 
So we're going to use f equals ma. You've got your t going forward. Your r is going back. And remember, your r we've just worked out to be 930. And that equals your mass, 150. And the acceleration, remember, was uh, 2. So that's t is equal to 300. That was 2 times 150 plus 930. So t works out to be 1230 newtons. Part 3 asks you to find the time taken for the system to reach a speed of 30 meters per second squared. Now, it says in the question, it starts from rest, so u is equal to 0. The acceleration we know is 2. Our v we want to get up to is 30, and we're looking for the time to do this. So if we use our v is equal to u plus at, you can say 30 is equal to 0 plus 2t. We better work on out here. You're going to get your t is equal to 15 seconds. And that's it so far. Okay, right. The system changes. When you go into part four, it changes. It says, uh, at, an inst at the instant when the speed of the car is 30 meters per second, the coupling in the tow bar snaps. Find the time taken for the trailer to come to rest if the resistance to motion is on change. Right. New setup, new diagram. So, this is what we've got now for part four. You've got your trailer. It's going in this direction, so it's going to be acceler it's going to be there's going to be some sort of acceleration, negative acceleration, I'd imagine, because it's going to come to rest. And your resistance is the same. You worked out your resistance to be 930 newtons. You've got your tow bar here, but there is no tension up because it's not attached to anything, it's just an empty tow bar. The mass of this trailer is 150 newtons. So what we've got to do first of all is find your acceleration. Once you find your acceleration you can go on and find how long it takes it to come to rest. So uh, we'll just say uh, find A. That's what we want to do. So we're going to use F equals MA. So going forward you have nothing going forward. Going backwards you have 930. So that's equal to your mass which is 150 times your A. So your A works out to be minus 930 divided by 150, which is minus 6.2 meters per second squared. So it clearly is decelerating. We'll just add that in, i.e. trailer is decelerating. Okay, now all we've got to do is find a time for it to come to rest. So it starts with a velocity of 30. It has to come, uh, sorry, it's acceleration. We worked out to be minus 6.2. It's got to come to rest, so zero. Uh, just say that's a wee bit of explanation. That's when it comes to rest. Okay, and we want to find the time. Let's just check what they asked us. Yep, find the time taken for it to come to rest. So you want to find your T is what you're looking for. So again, you're using the nicest one, nicest SUVAT equation, V equals U plus AT. So 0 is equal to 30 minus 6.2 times your T, which means 6.2 T is equal to 30. And we'll finish that off over here. So T is just equal to 30 divided by 6.2. And T works out to be 4.84 seconds. And that is to two decimal places.